And we're to our headliner tonight. Uh, our headliner is Jamar Cobb-Denard. Jamar is a lawyer, business owner, government leader. Jamar is currently a candidate for Lawrence Mayor. Prior to that, he was a member of Indianapolis Board of Public Works for four years. Jamar started his career in Indianapolis 16 years ago as a business consultant and salesperson. Jamar is a newlywed to a family law attorney, Jesse. They have a daughter and a 100-pound American bulldog. Jamar spends his free time long distance cycling and playing the organ at Turning Point Family Worship. Please help me welcome Jamar to the Spark Stage. Today, I'd like to talk about the disconnection of Americana and how to reconnect it. You see, I'm not that old. I remember the days when I used to be able to ride my bicycle all around the neighborhood all day long without a care in sight. I remember when communities would come together just to spend an evening in a park. I remember when kids from the neighborhood would all go to school together at the same school. And I remember when our noses weren't buried in phones for hours a day. Those connections, those experiences, those feelings, those memories, that's what America is. But today, I tell my child not to ride her bike too far away from home. It's only the hyper-involved that come to some of the community events and community meetings in the evenings on Fridays and Saturdays. And the neighborhood kids don't go to the same school. They're all at different schools, different public schools, different charter schools, different magnet schools, different uh, uh, home schools. We used to see each other at the market. But now, we shop online. We used to meet up at the playground. But now, playing online is just fine. And even though we see each other's lives, we forget to see each other. Loneliness and connectivity are issues. According to the US Health Resources and Services Administration, 20% of Americans are lonely. 20%. Now, the same studies relied upon by the HSRA linked loneliness to a 29% increase in heart disease, a 32% increase uh, in risk of stroke. Loneliness is more dangerous than obesity, and the effects of loneliness is equivalent to smoking 15 cigarettes a day. America is suffering from a connectivity epidemic. It's time to reconnect America. We need connection. It's time to reconnect Americans. We can do this through how we plan and build connection into our cities. What if we built sidewalks that led to something, connectors that connected us and freed us from isolation, ways of food and entertainment and work, and were shared opportunities. A recent Fast Company article headlined that if someone shifts from a long commute to a walk, their happiness increases as much as if they were in love. Their happiness increases as much as if they were in love, just from a walk. Fast Company went on to list 50 benefits of connected neighborhoods that included, and I'm going to run through almost all 50. Ready? Long life, lost weight, reduced risk of chronic disease, improved traffic safety, better surveillance, reduced crime, neighborhood vibrancy, 
sense of place, increased, uh, increased creativity, accessibility, social interaction, community identity, connection to generations, building inclusiveness, boosting of the economy, strengthen local business, improving city's brand, increased tourism, encouraged investment, improved property values, reduced traffic, reduced healthcare costs, minimized land use, reduced pollution and noise, improved water management, makes cities more competitive, inspires engagements, and supports cultural enrichment. All that from just a little sidewalk. What if we fixed food deserts with small markets that feed our bodies and our souls with connection? The camaraderie. A study from the American Journal of Preventative Medicine found that there's a correlation between those who own cars and travel farther to their grocery stores and also have a BMI. Basically, it said, if you don't have a grocery store close to your house, you're going to be fatter. What if? We use less cars, even in the suburbs, and take connector transit to mass transit so we can see our neighbors along the way. What if we programmed all of our parks so people had a reason to get out of their homes and get into culture and get into community and get into people? What if our neighborhoods contained everything that we needed, food, education, work, supplies, entertainment, all within a moderate walk or a short bike ride or a quick car ride. When I think of great use program cities, I think of uh, downtown Detroit and Greektown. Has anybody been there? A handful of you. Good. So um, Quicken Loans founder Dan Gilbert invested $5.6 billion into downtown Detroit, and he revitalized it. The area once known for high crime is now an entertainment destination with offices and bars and restaurants and a short walk to a Tigers game and entertainment, nationally recognized lodging, and an urban beach, a legit beach, not the river, a beach, like toes in, your, uh, in the sand, margarita, beach, the good stuff, all within a five-minute walk of downtown Detroit. This is the kind of development that inspires togetherness. Now, this isn't a game, because there are places like New Jersey that are down to the last million acres of developable land. The New York Times is calling it total build-out, which means that there won't be any more land to build on by mid-century. This is happening in Indiana and all across the country. That by 2030, when you take into account the land that's used for roads and the land that's used for food and the land that's used for housing and businesses, by 2030 or 2050, will be completely out of developable land across this country. So now it's our country that's pushing us together. See, America isn't just ice cream. It's not just apple pie. And there's more to us than just the grand old flag and military tanks. This is America. America's people. America's relationship, America's connection. This is America. This is us. We have to remember our hearts. We have to open our hearts and our consciousnesses to each other. We have to remember our roots from whence we came, connected to another human being. Our choices, the design of our cities affects America to its core. So we must consciously choose how we live and how we let our leaders guide our cities to the next level. We must reconnect America. We must revive the spirit of Americana. Don't delay. Be your ticket for the next Sparks event today.